34 years ago in the year 1991, World Wide Web or the world's internet went online for the very first time. The first website that went online was info.cern.ch. The man behind it all is this man, Tim Berners-Lee. As you know, World Wide Web or WWW is the thing you have to put behind a website name. At least you used to have to do this. You don't have to anymore. But let's see where Tim came from. On the 8th of June 1955, he was born in London to a family of computer scientists. Both his father and mother were computer scientists, and they weren't just some average engineers. These two were considered geniuses in the computer industry. Some people didn't know that computers existed before the internet, especially young people. But you have to know, computers are much older than the internet and they were extremely important for human advancement. Like for example, going to the moon would not be possible without computers. The computer wasn't all that impressive or powerful, but it was needed. So this shows us that computers are extremely important at that time. And another interesting fact is that Tim Berners-Lee parents, before he was born in the year 1953, they were the main engineers that helped design the Ferranti Mark I, one of the first supercomputers that anyone could buy. But of course, it wasn't made for normal people because they're not gonna put this huge computer in their house. But it was available to the public for the first time. The computer was the size of a room, it had multiple pieces, and altogether, it weighed five tons. So it wasn't a joke, you needed a truck to deliver all the parts. And that wasn't just it, installing everything, wiring everything in was another huge hassle and it required engineers to do so. So you could say customers that wanted something like this weren't normal people, they were huge companies or governments. We're not completely sure how much it cost, but computerhistory.org says it costs around $120,000 in today's money. Anyways, Tim is growing up in a family like this. And the amazing part is that Tim himself has said that his parents didn't have to force him to learn computers. He was so interested in it from the get-go that his parents didn't even have to force him. They would just teach him on the go and he loved learning everything. So you could say he grew up with two computer engineers and they taught him everything even before he's out of high school. Eventually, Tim gets his diploma and gets accepted to Oxford University. And the thing is, he doesn't take computer science as his major because he knows everything about it. So he decides to go the physics route, something that will be very important in creating the World Wide Web. Time passes and when we get to the year 1980, Tim is 25 years old and he gets a job at CERN and he gets a position as a computer programmer. For any type of physicist, scientist, or computer engineer, getting a job at CERN is a huge deal. And it is a huge accomplishment for Tim Berners-Lee to get this job at only 25 years old. CERN always liked innovation. And the interesting part is that they would allow their engineers, computer scientists, to do whatever they want in their free time and innovate whatever they like. Even if it wasn't part of their work plan, they would allow it to happen because they knew that there's potential in these scientists and they could maybe invent something new. This is unlike other companies where they don't allow you to have freedom. They only want you to do what they want. And if you don't do it, you might get fired. CERN is located in Switzerland, but its scientists and computer engineers aren't all in the same building, which is why contacting all of them when you wanted to was a huge problem. You had to contact them individually. From day one, Tim always wanted to figure out a way to have contact with these scientists all around the world at one time, so he didn't have to contact them one by one. He basically wanted to create a network where he has access to every employee of CERN. We're not gonna bore you with a lot of information, but it took Tim Berners-Lee nine years, meaning until the year 1989, to figure out a way to connect all the scientists, computer engineers, and employees of CERN into one network so you can communicate with all the scientists without contacting them individually, which is huge. After two years of working, Tim Berners-Lee with his associates makes the World Wide Web go live on the 6th of August, 1991. Basically, the first website called info.cern.ch. 
And just like we said, the CH comes from Switzerland. It is important to note that Tim Berners-Lee wasn't the first person to invent the internet. It was the first time that internet went worldwide, but it wasn't the first time that it happened. Because in the year 1969, the Pentagon had created something like this, but they didn't allow it to go public. It was only used for the United States military. It was basically a network to connect all the US militaries together where they can have communication without problems. But as you know, they had this technology for 32 years and finally, somebody at CERN figured it out and made it go worldwide and changed the world forever. There are some theories that say the US military has access to technologies that we've never heard of and can't even imagine that it exists. But they have access to these and they don't allow anyone to notice them. And maybe after a few decades, they allow the public to know about it and use it. Somewhat like GPS. There are some theories that says the US military had GPS technology in World War II. We're not sure how true that is, but a lot of people say that the US military had this technology many decades before it went public. But now we have this technology at the palm of our hands. Hearing this makes you think what type of technology they have right now that we don't know about. But anyways, Tim Berners-Lee is the reason we have the internet today. But he doesn't take all the credit. He credits all the scientists, computer engineers, and physicists that help him make this possible. 